which I'll come back to. So this is all about the royalties from their combined efforts as Sonny and Cher. Now, of course, as we know, they well and truly split up at the time of Sonny's death. And his widow was a woman called, is a woman called Mary. And she said in 2016, I want to stop the payments to Cher because there is an entitlement for people who have an estate like this to stop it if they feel after 25 years they don't need to keep on honouring it. So that's what she was proceeding to do. Legally, she was entitled to do it. It wasn't a case of her just feeling mean or anything. So anyway, Cher said, no, I'm not accepting that. I'm going to fight it. So what it came down to was that, yes, under normal circumstances, Mary Bono would have been entitled to stop those payments, except this agreement was put in writing in 1978 as part of the divorce settlement that she would forevermore get 50 per cent of all royalties. So that's what she was fighting for. It was about the divorce settlement being honoured. Now, it's to be honest with you, 630000 Australian dollars, it's a lot of money to us, but in share world, I would suggest to you it, it's not that massive. So I think for her, and I'd be curious to see if she does talk about it at some point, it must have represented something more mm. than just that amount of money that she felt she had to go in and fight for her rights for. Hmm. Well, I'm, I think I, I think I'm on Cher's side with this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, about no one asked for my opinion, but anyway. I... <laughs>